What's up guys, it's Arrow Gamer here and I'm back with another awesome model review. Now this is the Gemini Jets Interjet Airbus A320. Now I've been planning to get this model back in January but I don't know, I just saw, found a lot of ni other nice models so I decided to get those. So I didn't have, really have time but I actually finally got it. And actually I got it within time because on Amazon I paid $31 for it. Plus free shipping, and now it's like forty-two dollars. So that's that was really early and close. So, and also I have a, the Skymarks Interjet, which I'm selling, and it's in excellent condition. Um, if you guys would like to buy it, it's in the description below. I guarantee I would. I'm telling you, it's very great. This um, it's very excellent condition. Um, um, it's like it's like brand new, basically. So it has everything in it, so because I don't really need two interjets, so I, A through twenty, so I just decided to sell it, and I wanted the Gemini Jets version, so better. So, anyways, let's get on to the model. Now uh, it's a tiny model, so I'll show you later. Uh, it's in the box. Here's the two D image of the aircraft. Interjet Airbus A three twenty. 400 scale, all that. Just look inside. I like how they have the color here, just to show the color of the aircraft. Um, there's the aircraft was in there. Website new releases. You can pause and read that if you want. And you can pause and read that if you want. Oops. You know what? Yeah. All right, so now I think it's a really weird. Oh, it's a cool box, but I think this is really weird. If this is the new model, so here's the. I'll show you later. The left. I'm oh, sorry, the right. Bottom. The left. And the top. Now here's the weird part. Um, there is that 2012 release. Um, uh, with the EcoJet. X A dash Y E S. All that. I don't know why that's there. I think it's just to show what the old release looked like and the new release. But I don't know why, but that's this is a 2016 Gemini Jets release. Pause and read that if you want. Yeah, that's pretty funny, but yeah. Anyways, alright. So now here is the mod. So I'm gonna show you. Thing off the stand. The tripod. So I'm gonna actually move it here so it's better lighting. So now we have it's a tiny model, guys. Um, but here's the cockpit windows, windshield wipers, whatever that red thing is, and then the and first entry door right there. Interjet titles, inter Interjet logo. Uh, the blue um, wave-like design, really like it. Emergency exit doors right there. And I don't know if it has. No, it does not. Does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have the um, front run runway lights for some reason, but because it's it's a really tiny model, so I don't really blame them much. There's the amazing. Uh, there's that amazing, um, what kind of engine was it? It was the two CM, CFMI, CFM 56-3, 5B4-3 uh, engines. So, that was, the, yeah. Then there is the, I think that's the warning, like, do not step or something like that. In, amazing interjet winglet. And then the inside there's the inter Interjet logo, which is really cool. Um, then we have the Mexican flag and the registration XAFUA. And then there's the rear entry door and the Interjet logo. And then you move on to here. And it's kind of back heavy, so it falls on the... And then there is the APU right there. So and then same thing on this side except this side has cargo doors. 
and this wing has registration. So now I'm going to show you from top what it looks like. Interjet, the antenna right there, red night, um, red anti-collision light, Wi-Fi box. I guess that's what it is, and two antennas right there, and then the and then there's the rear um nose gear door, and it's carved in, so which is really cool. The Rear, the main gear door, flap slots, ailerons, spoilers, registration is XA-FUA on the engine, amazing engines, and the engines as you can see are like sm smaller than my finger, so that's how small this model is, so it's really cool, and then the APU housing. Um, I really think it's a cool model how small how the details they got all right how the details they got and how small it is is really really cool um so yeah oh and there's some there on oh, the gears do roll they're not rubber tires but they but they do roll which is really cool which there's one there's like oops, there's two defects as you can see, that I don't think you can, it's not really it's not bad. Defects, I mean, you can't really notice it, but I kind of noticed it when I looked closely at it. As you can see, this winglet is a little bit this way, right? Which is correct, like outward. This one is a little bit straight, as you can see. You guys probably can't see it, but it is. And then I don't think you can see that either, but the yeah, I don't know. Sorry. But there is the gear nose gear is t um slanting so I mean that's the only defect oh those are the only defects it's not really a bad um noticeable defect but still they should get it right but it's it's okay it's not bad but thanks for watching guys subscribe comment and like if you like this model I recommend getting it especially if a Mexican airport or uh, regional or if you just want an international aircraft in their fleet um, what I do is I don't really get I just make up a random airport and I just put like random any planes I like just go to the airport so whatever it's like a fake airport um, but I don't have it yet I'm gonna make it soon but anyways thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and uh, put in the comments below what I should do better um, I would really like to do better and I will see you in the next video.